Today marks not the end of the battle, but the beginning of a long constitutional struggle to reclaim Congress's proper role and prerogative in matters of foreign policy. The debate is about whether it is constitutional for the president to unilaterally take our country to war. Make no mistake about it, we are at war in Yemen. The U.S. is doing in-air refueling of Saudi bombers. The U.S. is picking bomb targets. And the U.S. is providing soldiers to advise and help orchestrate this war. President Obama has sold $100 billion in weapons to the Saudis. Many of them were injected into the Syrian civil war. Many of these weapons wound up in the hands of al-Nusra, al-Qaeda, and even ISIS. So how do we reward this treachery? The bipartisan consensus cries out, give them more. I would argue that today's bill to stop 1% of the arms sales to Saudi Arabia is too little. Across the Middle East, wars rage with U.S. arms on both sides of most conflicts. As refugees flood Europe and America, Saudi Arabia accepts zero. A majority of senators may not agree to stop selling arms to Saudis, but today we have witnessed the beginning of the debate. For those of us who believe that war and all its horror should be the last resort, today's debate can be seen as nothing short of victory.